So, I went to a Catholic school. Before I get started on the story, I just want to let you guys know that this is probably going to be the only time that I'm actually going to mention religion on my channel. Not that it's anything to be ashamed of or anything like that, it's just that's not what my, my content is reflecting. I was involved in a school production which involved me playing Jesus, if you read the title correctly. So first off, a little bit of backstory. Those of you who are part of Catholic religion or something similar to it, or even if you're just a shopper, there are two huge holidays that the masses basically celebrate. Christmas, where we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, and Easter, where we celebrate Jesus rising from the dead. And I find this incredibly funny for multiple reasons. There's Christmas, which is light and fluffy. We talk about St. Nicholas. We give out presents. It's a baby. It's a baby! It's so light and fluffy! And then there is Easter, which we're celebrating somebody coming back from the dead, and before they can come back from the dead, we have Good Friday, which is where we mourn Jesus dying. That being said about Good Friday, we need to talk about the fact that Jesus did not just die of natural causes. He was murdered. So what did my school think was the most appropriate and entertaining way to teach the younglings about birth and death. Well, the third graders got to take care of Christmas. The third graders would get to do a 10 to 15 minute play which had very little dialogue and a narrator basically telling the whole thing. I didn't get to be in the show because my class wasn't the one that was doing it. My school didn't have very many school plays, but you know, would have been nice if they asked. And then the older kids, which would be the eighth graders, to take care of Easter in talking about the Stations of the Cross. The Stations of the Cross, if you're not familiar, is a 14 chapter retelling of Jesus dying. There are actually like carvings, stained glass windows, so on and so forth, along the walls of churches that actually tell the story of Jesus being tortured and murdered. This is religion though. This is scary shit. And they tell the story from the moment that Jesus is condemned to death to when he's being placed in the tomb. And then three days later, boom, it's Easter. So when I was a kid, the way that they did the Stations of the Cross was they would have both grade eight classes break into 14 different groups. And then they would have a narrator telling what's going on with the tableaus or scenes or whatever it is the group decided to do in telling the story of the Stations of the Cross. They would have classes come in and watch each section. I think one of the sections we actually had to watch a scene from The Passion. I haven't seen that film since, but I remembered it was very gory and scary. You get desensitized to the story when you get older, but I, I still think it's kind of messy. So each class would literally just walk through each individual station from 1 to 14. Eventually they stopped doing that. I don't actually remember when we started doing the different version. I imagine it just took like a really long time for like 20 plus classes to walk through it and then the actual grade eights doing the the tableaus and saying the same things over and over again being crouched down and holding up your hands just must have been really exhausting. So that being said, when we got older then they started to do something different. Everybody would be sitting in the gymnasium and we would just watch the tableaus all at once. If you're not familiar with what a tableau is, it is a picture but with actual people. So they are just frozen in time and trying to stay as still as possible. That's a tableau. <laughs> That's literally it. The entire school would just sit in the gymnasium and we watch the stage for the grade eights doing each tableau. Basically, from what I'm getting at is that before there were 14 Jesuses, but now there's only one Jesus to represent both classes. Me and my classmates knew that once we hit the eighth grade that we would be the ones to be putting on the show. Once we actually did hit the eighth grade, teachers every so often explained to us, like if it was religion class or drama class, that we were going to be doing it. Enter Jared. That's not his real name. Jared was the class clown. He liked to joke around a lot, but most of the time it wasn't even funny. <laughs> But every time we had religion class or the Stations of the Cross was brought up, he would raise his hand and say, Can I play Jesus when we do the show? And my eighth grade teacher, who, by the way, she was she was one of my favorite teachers, probably from the school. <laughs> she was great. She was a badass. But anyways, she would basically tell him, We are not casting right now. We will see when it's March. I want to mention, because you've read the title, that I didn't know who I wanted to play in the show. I, I figured that I would just be Mary or Veronica because they're the only females in the entire show who had any like screen time basically. Or just one of the people being like, oh no, Jesus, he fell a third time. I figured that Jared or somebody more popular than me who was male 
would be playing Jesus because Jesus was always played by a man. He was known as the drama kid as well as the Twilight freak at the time, but that really doesn't mean anything because it's not like we were holding auditions. So lo and behold, it's March and my teacher put up this huge like piece of paper onto the blackboard. We just literally just sign up our name beside any of the characters that were posted. It wasn't like a first come first serve basis or anything like that. I think we just went in, like in order of like seating arrangement. Multiple people signed up for the same role than the teachers what I believe kind of talk amongst themselves and then just decide who's gonna play who. So when it was my turn to sign up, of course Mary and Veronica, like all the girls signed up for her. So I did sign up for them, but then I noticed that for Jesus, there were only two people who signed up, which were Jared and somebody else who I don't remember totally who it was, but I knew that either of these guys were not gonna take the role very seriously. I cannot even begin to think about what would have happened if Jared did end up playing Jesus. So I just kind of took a second and looked at Jesus and then those two names and I just thought to myself, I'm gonna shoot my shot. And so I signed up. I basically just wanted to see like, what would really happen. I figured that, you know, if I didn't get it, then fine, you know, whatever, then, it's not a big deal. But if I did get to play Jesus, it would be like a really big deal to me anyways, because I would be basically the center of attention for every single tableau. And on top of that, it was going to be like a big challenge to be playing the Lord and Savior. But I figured that I wouldn't get it because once again, Jesus is usually played by a man. And I didn't know if because Jared had been asking for the role of Jesus for like a year that he would just get it which is probably what he was counting on. I remember that after I signed my name, because everybody could see who signed up for what, as soon as I turned around, I was getting dirty looks. Nobody had like said anything, but I remember that like, it felt like the entire class was staring at me and I could just see little thought bubbles going through their head. I felt like they were just thinking, of course she would sign up. Why would she sign up? She's not a guy. Are you kidding me right now? She just wants to be the star. Which valid, I guess. <laughs> but again, I just knew that these two guys would not take the role very seriously and I just shot my shot and I just decided to shoot my shot because I was not throwing it away. My shot. Could have been just like three people just staring at me but I could just feel everyone's gazes and I was not expecting that so that's why I know that it wasn't just me. So once everybody was done signing up, my teacher took down the sheet and she decided to start doing casting. I believe we were like working on like worksheet. Who knows? We were working on something class related. So recess came and my teacher called me over before I left like everybody else. We waited until everybody was gone and then she asked me, Do you want to play Jesus? Um, yeah. Yeah, that I would love to. Okay. You got it. I... <laughs> I could not believe it. I was playing Jesus. I thought I was like dreaming. Like I was like, holy shit. I didn't even, I, I, I just signed up because I just, I, of course I wanted to play Jesus, but I didn't know that I would actually get Jesus. Like what? And keep in mind, nobody else knew what roles they were playing. So she told me straight up that I was going to be playing Jesus and we didn't know who was going to be playing Pontius Pilate or Mary or Veronica. She just told me straight up that I was going to be playing Jesus. I went outside and my friends were asking me, were you in trouble? What happened? Why were you called over? What, what, what was going on? And I told them that I got Jesus. I'm playing Jesus at the Stations of the Cross. This was amazing to me. I had never played the lead role in literally anything. I technically still haven't. I don't know if I consider this to be technically a lead role or rather the lead role, but it's something and it, it matters in my heart, but it does not matter on my resume. I don't remember my friends like celebrating like, yes, you got Jesus. I think I remember them just being like, oh, that's cool. You know Jared's gonna be pissed, right? So eventually rehearsals came and they announced who was going to be playing what role and how things were going to be happening. And when my teacher asked if anybody had any questions, Jared raised his hand and asked, Why is she playing Jesus? I get that she has the hair. I had really long hair, by the way, at the time. But she is a girl. Why did you cast a girl for Jesus? And literally every guy in the class was basically agreeing with him that Jesus should be played by a man. I felt like every single guy was just staring at me and thinking, why her? Why is she playing Jesus? My teacher was amazing and she basically just told them straight up, I knew she'd do a good job and she would take the role seriously. That really kind of stayed with me because basically her saying that was that like, I was talented enough that gender aside, that I was good enough 
for the role. I'm getting really mushy about just like a small role in the eighth grade, but like it's it really meant something to me. Rehearsal went really really well. I had a lot of fun. It was incredibly exhausting to be like having this cross like on my shoulder for like 30 minutes. I had one line in the entire show. I think people laughed because I was screaming basically my one line across the room because we didn't have mics. What was the point of giving me a mic if I had one line? But it was a lot of fun and it was great being recognized I guess for my talent and I know I didn't necessarily need talent I guess to just stand there and do nothing basically but it was still so much fun and I had a blast. So what role did Jared end up playing? Well, turns out he wasn't in the show at all. I think he just only signed up for Jesus because he figured he would get it, but he ended up actually being a tech person and he would put up on the projector what responses people had because we would have calls and responses for each of the stations. I don't know if they were prayers or just calls and responses, but that was his role. He didn't get to be on stage. So yeah, that was basically the story of how I played Jesus in my school production of The Stations of the Cross. If you like this video please give it a big like it really helps me out and it helps my videos to be seen by people and comment down below while you're at it like let me know any kind of theater stories where something like this happened where maybe you were gender bent into a role and I guess subscribe because I guess that's that's important too I suppose because guys I'm very lonely I'll talk to you guys soon keep comments sparkle on